Good afternoon, everyone. Snow down 19 degrees north latitude this week around Mexico City. I love how it's termed sort of an Arctic blast into Mexico in March, no less. This is the area where it's going to snow along with the concentrations of more than a foot. And this is in tropical latitudes, Puebla. That's at 19 degrees north latitude and those mountains and areas around Mexico City, also 19 degrees. This is what the polar dip looks like, very unusual. California, five feet of snow during the same week. Local weather stations around Mexico City picking up the dip in temperature. But looking at AccuWeather, you would never know it's about to snow because they have the temperatures in the high 60s, low 70s. You think they need to hire a few new weather forecasters? I want to thank Ryan for posting all these updates on the snow just about to hit Mexico. Great job. If you haven't heard, right around Mexico City at 19 degrees north latitude, it's supposed to snow in the foot plus range here in mid-March. Temperatures falling to around 2 degrees Celsius. That's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit lower than normal temperatures. This is what the polar front looks like. Now, if you look on the left slide, you'll see that deep tongue of purple almost just sticking straight down in there. On the right slide, you'll see that it is white, but it's the exact same thing. It's an area to cut off trough. Now that's gonna turn into its old cold blob and be surrounded by warm air and it'll keep rolling through Mexico as cold, which you can see right on the left side there. Bit wider out here so you can see it, but the gradient in temperature especially when this cuts off, that flow from the Gulf of Mexico is going right up into the Northeast United States, gonna warm that up along with torrential rains. Another look here on the map, departure from temperatures. So those of you in the United States, 20 degrees Celsius is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Freezing's down at 32, you do the math, it's 40 degrees below normal temperatures there. Now we're starting to take a look directly into Mexico where the snow is going to pass through with the front. A bit closer in here, this is actually Mexico City, Puebla, right there. Notice the degree latitude marker. This is extremely rare. They had snow early in the year, which was rare in itself, but now a second instance. The last time they recorded any type of accumulating snow was in 1967. But this snowstorm is going to be putting something like a foot to two feet around in the surrounding mountains. Just curious what will happen exactly in Mexico City. Quick check of the coordinates here. Puebla, 19 degrees, 2 minutes, 36 seconds north. Mexico City, 19 degrees, 26 minutes north. This is way south of Havana, Cuba. So you might want to ask yourself, if it was snowing in Havana, Cuba in mid-March, would you think that was strange? Even the weather network is picking it up. They have to in these regional events because there's so many people that will experience it. Another interesting fact is look at the temperature gradient drop in a matter of six hours. It's going to drop 40 degrees in six hours. That is, imagine the winds coming through with that and just the immense fog and atmospheric conditions when you're dropping the temperature that quickly. Looking at the 850 millibar chart here, keep in mind, 1,000 millibars is rated right ground level. The higher you go up at 500 millibars, up around 15,000 feet. I like the way here that the cutoff is termed an Arctic blast, which it truly is. Now, Mexico City weather forecasters, right on the money. They have some downtown temperatures right in the heat islands, exactly downtown, coming down to about 8 degrees. It'll probably drop cooler than that, but at least they did peg the temperature drop. Jumping over to AccuWeather... On the other hand, they have 72 to 79 degrees Fahrenheit for the exact same days that this snowfall and extreme temperature fluctuations are going to come through. AccuWeather, I'll work for you. I'm going to give you a better forecast than your current forecasters do. Additionally, taking a look at the snowfall possibilities through the Sierra Nevada mountains, two to five feet. Remember everybody babbling on about global warming will exacerbate this 3,000 year drought and it will never rain again in California and the cities will need to move. There'll be no more snowpack on the mountains yet. Here comes five feet. 
And after hearing that for the last three or four years, in my own personal opinion, I think five feet of snow is strange this late in the year. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. This is yet another strange weather event. You're going to see more mix up like this continuing as the grand solar minimum increases. The magnetosphere decreases, which allows different flows in the jet stream. As you're starting to see, these are the periphery beginning effects. Imagine what it intensifies to